My name is Dr. Bruce Copley and I'm a multi-instrumentalist passionate about taking instruments that normally wouldn't be seen as musical and showing in fact that they are. There is a pressing need today more than ever so for us to be able to start viewing nature through our heart's eye. And in that process being able to honour in very beautiful ways this planet of ours, this silver grey planet. And so what I'm going to show you today is how we can begin this journey through the heart's eye. You might be wondering how I made this discovery. Well, I've been playing the acorn cupel for many years and I walked past this beautiful oak tree with its hanging acorns and I looked at it and I thought, but I can play you when you're not attached to the tree. And that was how I made that, I could suppose you could call it a, a light bulb moment where I saw that if I played it attached to the tree, something special would be occurring and I would be playing the world's largest living wind instrument. The oak tree is ranked in the top 10 big trees in the world. And the beauty about the oak is, is that it's arguably the most useful of all the great trees. It feeds over um, 100 animal and insect and bird species. What would be happening to the wine industry without the barrels of the oak? So the oak tree is just an amazing, amazing tree and is long lived in Europe. There are many that are over a thousand years old. This discovery is both a botanical discovery and also a musical discovery. I've spoken to many botanists, world famous botanists, and no one that I am aware of has ever heard of this discovery before. And musically also, people have played the acorn cupel as a whistle before, but never as a musical instrument. Here are 10 musical facts about the acorn cupel. First of all, it is a totally unique new discovery as a musical instrument. This is a perfectly crafted, fully chromatic musical instrument by nature, a gift from God. The third fact is that this instrument is very robust, very durable. It can last lying on the ground exposed to all the elements and be perfect for up to three years quite easily. The fourth fact is that this delightful instrument is abundant and supplied freely by nature to us without any conditions attached to it at all. The fifth point is that this is a fully chromatic, believe it or not, a fully chromatic instrument with 17 notes that is able to play any tune in any key accurately. The acorn cupel is well known as a whistle, a loud whistle, forming a V with your thumbs like this. That's the one way you can do it. Then you can play it with only one hand. The acorn cupel is also a bird caller, so you can mimic the well-known birds, the pit may throw bird. The next one, ons bos the the bush dove. And then our well-known beautiful fish eagle. The seventh point is and very few instruments have this quality. It can be played either as an inanimate object or as an animate living musical instrument. The eighth point is that this instrument, this tiny little thimble shaped instrument acts as a megaphone or a loud hailer, increasing the sound substantially. The acorn cupel attached directly to the tree 
is a portal or a doorway sonically into the tree. And this sound moves through the water or the sap in the tree at the astonishing speed of 1400 meters per second, which means that instantaneously the whole tree, the branches, the leaves, and even the roots are vibrating at what one is putting into the cupel. And the tenth and final point is, is that this instrument is both the mouthpiece of the instrument and the entire instrument wrapped into one. I'd like to play you a medley of tunes using the acorn capula. So how does the acorn cupel compare with conventional musical instruments? Yeah, this is an ocarina. This is a bamboo sax. Now both of these instruments that I've just played are diatonic instruments. They're not chromatic, so they are limited to only being able to play in one key. The acorn cupel is able to play in 24 keys. There are three techniques we use to play the acorn cupel. The first is what is known as cupel whistling. If I normally whistle, I'm using my lips when I do that. What happens when you begin to play or go over to cupel whistling, what happens is that you use part of the rim to become your lips. And you notice how much louder it gets the minute I play into the cupel. So that's the first, the first one. The second one is sounding, humming or singing into the cupel. So I go, do, 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 and I do it into the acorn cupel. So that's acorn, in that case it was humming. And then the third one is the most difficult one, which is the cupel fluting. 
and it's much higher and there's no whistling in here. There is absolutely no sounding. It's just the plain uh, fluting. One of the big advantages of this discovery is that we can begin to be much more conscious and mindful of our relationship with nature. Our ability, for instance, to start recycling, our ability to become more mindful, to not pollute, to make sure that when we go for a walk, we take a bag with us and pick up the rubbish when we're going along a walk. All of these things, hopefully, will put us closer to nature and will enable us to start having a relationship with nature which is deserving of its honor and in a, in a sense also its sacredness because we are part of nature and this is bringing us into touch with nature in a beautiful way. Putting people together, putting music together and putting nature. Powerful triad.